This Sunday marks one year since a man walked into congregation Beth Israel in Colleyville, seemingly in need of help. But he ended up holding four people hostage for hours, including the rabbi. It happened on Shabbat, the Jewish Sabbath, a common time for people to gather. And if you're familiar with that area, the synagogue is on Pleasant Run Road, uh, just right up the road from Colleyville Elementary School. The negotiations went on for hours and authorities had an elite SWAT team fly in from Virginia. Here we are a year later and we're getting a look at body cam footage, listening to the 911 calls from that day and hearing from the hostages themselves. Uh, Adriana de Alba joins me in studio now. You got a chance to speak to, to all four. I did, Chris, and as you can imagine, this is a really emotional weekend for the people who lived through those moments. And tonight, the congregation plans to come together with an anniversary service. We're also hearing newly obtained 911 calls from when the standoff unfolded during a live streamed service. Someone is in our synagogue yelling at the rabbi obscenities. I've got someone who um, uh, has a gun and he has he says he has two bombs. I have three bombs here, my dear. You want to test me? In the, in the next an hour and a half, Jewish people are going to die if you don't comply. I love death more than you love life. That tense standoff lasted more than 11 hours. The people held hostage inside described it as an up and down roller coaster of emotions. And one year later, they sat down with me to talk about their journey towards healing. Yes. Not quite healed. I'll never be the same. I'll never be the same person that I was before that day. The fact that we're all alive, the fact that we all can remember and recall, the fact that we can share stories with one another is such a beautiful thing. They survived. They call it a miracle, but the sense of fear still lingers for many in the Jewish community tonight at 10. More details about just how dangerous that escape got for them and their message a year later. Chris.